why I'm special by Gus P. Griswold. The one thing that makes me different from any other kid in the world is... Go on, Gus. Um, that's all I could come up with. Oh, now, Gus, every person has something they're good at, something that gives them their identity, that makes them special, even you. Oh, uh, well, I have hair. Sure, there's that, but so do many children. Oh, I know. You've been to 12 schools in six years. How many kids can claim a record like that? Gee, you're right, Miss Grokey. I, Gus P. Griswold, have a record. A world record. Do I get a plaque? Miss Grokey, I'm Jared Smith. Miss Lemon sent me here. I'm new. These are my transfer papers. I trust they're in order. Oh, my. You've certainly moved around a lot, Jared. One, two... Thirty-eight, ma'am. I've been to thirty-eight schools since kindergarten. Thirty-eight schools? Oh, goodbye, plaque. Welcome, Jared. Why don't you just take a seat and we'll get on with our lessons? Ooh, it's time to entertain our friends, the numbers. Now, let's see. Where were we on Friday? Oh, yes, long division. Can anyone besides Gretchen figure out the answer to this problem? All right. Gretchen? Well, in a simple problem like this, I quickly see that the answer is 167.0623. But if it were a more complicated... Um, excuse me, Gretchen? You're only warm. Warm? Are you trying to say I'm rock? Let's just say your answer lacks correctness. I hate to be a know-it-all, Miss Grokey, but I think the answer book must be mistaken again. Hey, Jared's got an answer? Oh, no, I, I don't really. Yeah, you do. According to Jared, the answer is 167, then a little dot thingy, 062... Four. Oh, please. No, wait. Jared's right. But, but that's impossible. Well, it looks like we have two math whizzes in our class. 38 schools since kindergarten. He broke my record. My only record. I'm sure he cheated on that math problem. Probably has one of those wristwatch calculators. Oh, come on. So this Jared guy's been through more schools than Gus. So we got one math problem quicker than Gretchen. Big croup and whoop. You guys don't get it. I haven't been corrected by an adult since I was three. I've never, ever been corrected by a peer. So? He still got the highest score in history on that Arkansas Standard Achievement Test. Did I? Are you student 100.000? Uh, yeah. I'm student 99.999. Nice to meet you. I think we're going to be great friends, don't you? I I always thought you were a mere statistical abstraction. Nope, I'm just a regular kid like you. Only smarter. Hey, hey, recess is a-wasting. What do you guys say we go play on the jungle gym? Uh, yeah. Last one to hold Rusty is a rotten egg soaking hot sauce that someone spit on. Come on, Gretchen. Come on, Gus. Okay, I'd hate to be some sort of yucky egg. Yeah, what have I got to lose? Come on, Jerry, you too. No, I don't really believe in competition. Competition? It's just a race to the jungle gym. It's all in the spirit of fun. Okay. Whoa! Oh, a side egg. Me too. You, you beat me. Yeah, well, you know, all in the spirit of fun. I I can't believe it. What kind of shoes you got on? Same as yours. So it's not the shoes. Well, I think I just had a little adrenaline going, being new and all. How are you at basketball? Um, okay. A little help? Wanna play? Maybe later. Sure. Man, that guy is good. Don't rub it in. <gasps> Next year, perhaps Jug Jared would enjoy the challenge. Oh, no, I couldn't. Sure you could, buddy. Don't be afraid. Smelly won't hurt you. Well, I have always wanted to try this. Sucker. Ah, big old slab of fresh meat. Somebody say one, two, three, go. One, two, two three, three, go. go. <laughs> Want to call it a tie? Ties are for Father's Day. I'm working. Uh, you sure? I won't settle for less. Okay, uh, I'm working. Uh, uh. You slammed me. True, but you did very well, considering your size. Well, better get to class. But, but, nobody's ever slammed me before. Nobody. Look at him, sitting there, eating his perfect little lunch out of his perfect little Senor Fusion lunchbox. Makes me sick. Yeah, Mr. 38 Schools. Mr. Faster Than Everybody. Mr. Perfect. Is quality a crime? What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, excellence is something to be treasured, not scorned. We should be proud to be in the presence of someone of Jared's superior abilities. Yeah, well, just you wait till his superior abilities shine on you, pal. I'll welcome it with open arms. If love is beauty and love is blind, then it's out of sight and out of mind. Then how can you be with me still? Like hummingbird and daffodil. Morning dew may dampen grass, but not our love that's here to last. Bravo! Bravo! What 
a beautiful soul. I hate that guy. How could this have happened? How? I'm the best poet in fourth grade, not Jared. Fair as foul and foul as... Oh, I can't remember the rest of it. Well, come on, Mikey. You're overreacting. Am I? Look around, TJ. Look around. The diggers can't dig because Jared's already dug the perfect hole. The swinger can't swing because Jared's already swung over the top of the swing set. Eight times. And look what he's done to Tubby. Him used to be best burper in kindergarten. Then big kid Jared make giant burp shake windows. Now Tubby say him never burp again. Face it, TJ, recess is a disaster. Oh, uh, you guys are letting this Jared thing get to you. Look at me, I'm not upset. Hey, Tej, you know the clackers Miss Finster confiscated from us last spring? The ones you said there was no plan good enough to get back? Yeah. Well, Jared just got him back. Woohoo! Jared's a menace, and he must be stopped. I say we tie him up and dress him in last year's ultra suede. Let's see him try to accessorize that. I say we tell Finster he's a communist. Perhaps we should all join hands and visualize him gone. I say we pummel the show off. Where is he? He's inside lecturing the faculty about his latest theories on education. No, no, Miss Grokey. You've got Vygotsky confused with Dewey. You've got a scaffold, kids. Mentor their behavior. Thank you, Jared. What was cloudy is now clear. Fraternizing with the enemy? Add treason to his list of offenses. That makes noise! <laughs> There is one thing we could do. It's brutal, but it just might do the trick. What's that, TJ? Instigate a lockout. <gasps> a lockout? We haven't done one of those since we locked out that boogering kid back in first grade. Hey, I got over it. So will he. Guys, it's the only way. Hey, guys, what you digging? Can I help? Okay, I guess I'll just do a little swinging then. Hi, swinger girl. Mind if I join you? Sure, we don't have to talk. We'll just swing. Taken. 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 <sighs> hey, guys. How about three-way? Only got two bits. Wanna play pickle? Wanna play leave us alone? Okay, I'll bite. What's going on around here? Think about it, Jerry. You chose to come in here and feed us all and everything? Well, guess what? We choose to put a stop to it. It's a lockout, pal. Get used to it. Huh. You know, I'm actually sort of impressed. You guys really came up with a good one. A good one? What's that supposed to mean, perfect boy? It's just, this happens at every school that I go to. Eventually, the kids realize that I'm good at stuff and shun me. Oh, they all have their own way of doing it. TPing my bike, dumping my books, training a hamster to use my desk as a toilet. But a school-wide lockout? That's a good one. But before I spend recess in the library for the rest of the year, let me just say one thing. All I wanted was to be friends with you guys. I never wanted to show anybody up. I didn't tell Miss Grokey I knew the right answer to Gretchen's problem, or challenge Vince to a foot race, or Spinelli to arm wrestling. You guys challenged me. I mean, what do you want me to do, pretend I'm no good? Works for me. Yeah. Well, I can't do that. Don't you see? I can't stop being good at stuff any more than Gretchen can stop being smart, or Vince can stop being fast, or Mikey can stop being a sweet soul giant. Gee, most people don't get that about me right away. I'd trade places with any of you guys any day. You think it's easy being Mr. Perfect? You think it's easy getting locked out? Or facing down angry mobs? Or opening your thermos to find a full of paper mache mix? Paper mache mix? That's hilarious! We should have thought of that one! <laughs> Shh! You know how people say, no matter how good you get, there's always someone out there who's better than you? Well, for me, it's different. There might not be anybody better, but there's always somebody happier. Well, anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to say that before I was locked out forever. Wait! What's up? Tubby wants to say something to Perfect Man. What's that? Kid, you got chops. Yeah! Finally, it is my passion for military miniatures, the love of a snake named Herbert, and much, much more that make me someone extra special. The end. My goodness, Gus, that's the longest paper you've ever written. Well, I got some pointers from a pal. We're looking for Jared Smith. Over here, gentlemen. Uh, Jared, there's been a situation. The president needs your advice. Again? Sorry. Adults. Why can't they learn to solve their own problems? But, Jared, you can't go now. Since I've been playing against you, I got better game. And feel this muscle I got building on this arm. Go on, feel it. Sorry, guys. Duty calls. Whoa! He had 
executed the perfect barrel roll. 